Eifto. Blond, 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 blond. Eifto. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us here this afternoon back in Hollywood. We're hosting a press conference for our big show at the same place at Wembley Arena on the 5th of November. Five of them have an explosive night. Um, when Ricky Burns comes to London to defend his, sorry, not to defend, to fight for the WBO into lightweight championship, the world against the brute basher, Michael McSteers. Fantastic uh, fight for the fans, really stepping up the weight uh, to take on, to, to try to become another weight champion uh, against a guy who's come over here on two occasions and then even at the time the best money we had. Um, Ricky knows it's a tough fight for him, but he's very confident as I am and uh, as a trainer Lee Nelson and the Drake's Morris Lowe that he has the ability to win this fight. And I think he will win this. I think it'll be a tough fight. Castillo is never in a boring fight. And uh, if you look back to when he beat Marquez, I think we're going to get that type of, sorry, Martinez, it's going to be that type of fight. And uh, so for me, it's going to be one of the, I think it's going to be one of the fights of the year. Also on the uh, card, the British Commonwealth Super Middleweight Championship between George Groves, who is the British and Commonwealth Champion, we defend this title against the former champion, of course, Edward Lou. Again, stars make the fires, I think it's ever, as, has all the ingredients to be a, a real quality fight. So we've got two really good fights there in the build. Great undercard, Billy Joe Saunders going for his first title, Ryan Walsh going for his first, first title, Derek Chijora on the comeback against Larry, other one Bebo, uh, Brandon Skin, <laughs> George Michael Carmen. And uh, many other fighters on the Great night, guys. Brilliant fans. Those who don't buy a ticket can sit on Box Station. It'll be uh, a game, a, a big night of boxing on Box Station. And there'll be some more fights that will be announced for the night. Box Station's on the Sky Platform Channel 456. Um, and to say, more see the best in boxing, that's the place to be. Got all the guys here. If you want to ask any questions, please feel free to do so. Will this be on the channel? Will this be on the channel? The, uh, on the what? On the what's it called then? On the uh, cable? It's on, it's on, at the moment it's on Sky, Sky Platform, right next to Sky Sports News, which is channel 456. So if you've got your remote, you just go 456. Are you pressed though? It's in front of you. And also, we hope by the, I'm quite sure, we'll be on the Virgin platform and others. So we'll be on other platforms um, and hopefully on some of the cables. Mm -hmm. At this moment, today, we saw the sky by step in the next uh, couple of weeks, you'll get it on other outlets. Ricky, you've seen what Cat Seedis did when he came before. Um, how is it going to be different for you? Yeah, no, these are the things that, yeah, the big things that I've always wanted. Um, when I know I'm up against it, I always seem to raise my game. Um, nobody knows more than me in my camp that this is going to be the hardest fight in my career. Um, but I think moving up to lightweight now, I think it was the best move for me. Um, but again, it's going to be a crack fight, but a winnable fight for me. Were you struggling to make weight? Seriously struggling in the super battle? Um, what well, I've been doing super fair, I've been a box out of calf, that was about seven years ago. Um, but I drew the last couple of fights, it was just getting harder and harder. Um, obviously, everybody knows I'm, I'm, I was massive for super featherweight. I'm even big for a lightweight as well. Um, so I think I'm going to enjoy boxing a lot more. I'll be concentrating on fighting rather than boiling down the weight. Um, surprisingly enough, I haven't been idle or retired, as most people are asking me. Um, I've been back in the gym. Obviously, it was a long camp and I had a bit of downtime, but I've been in the gym a long time now. I'm really excited about um, defending against Paul Smith. He's a really good fighter. It's going to be a great domestic dust-up. Um, I'm 100% motivated for this fight. 
for my last fight, it was about you know exposing someone's technical flaws. Adam was always holding me back, not letting me you know fight the way I want to fight. This this fight's going to be different. This fight, I'm allowed to be nasty. He's giving me the green light already, and that's what I plan to do. Nah, no bearing at all. Um, right now, I just want to concentrate on what I need to do, and that's beat Paul Smith. Um, looking on paper, it, it, I should beat him, but I know that Paul's going to ask a lot of difficult questions that I need to answer. I need to find the the right answers and I plan to do that at this moment in time in the gym. I'm finding those answers and I look forward to showing you what I can do November 5th, fireworks night. I've